Hi, my name is Azadun Asiri and I am a partner here at Slaughter and May. I work in the financing department. I've been at Slaughter and May since 2005 when I joined as a trainee and uh, I qualified into the financing group in 2007 and six and a half years later I became a, a, a partner uh, in the same group. And in this short video I'm going to talk to you about what the written exercise involves, um, what we're looking for and a couple of top tips on uh, what you should be doing when completing the exercise. The written exercise takes about an hour. It's usually based on a fictional company uh, which is likely to have been in existence for a period of time and might be going through a uh, strategic review or some other kind of transition process. You'll be given a number of different documents to look at. Um, that might include an internal memo, uh, a newspaper article, some statistics, and your task will be to write a report uh, once you've read through the various different materials. You'll be given hard copies of all the materials uh, as well as a laptop on which you can type your response although if you prefer to write it by hand, that's of course absolutely fine. As with all aspects of the interview process, we can make reasonable adjustments if you need to, and so you should please speak to a member of the trainee recruitment team in advance of your interview to arrange for that if, if, if you would like it. So what are we looking for? We're looking for candidates who can write clearly and concisely and your final report will also be assessed um, for your ability to persuade, uh, your, your ability to make judgment calls and your problem um, analysis skills. Uh, innovative ideas and commercial knowledge are always, of course, something we're looking for too. We, we know there's a lot of information um, and time will be short, so uh, you'll need to, to work quite quickly to absorb all of the material and, and answer the question. And the written exercise is usually marked by um, uh, somebody uh, different from the person who interviewed you in the interview process. It's, a, it's another partner and it's an anonymous process. How do you prepare? Uh, sadly, the written exercise isn't really something that you can prepare for in advance, although that might um, be a welcome relief. Um, it, there aren't going to be any legal questions for you to answer. So really you just need to approach it as, a, uh, as, a, as an unseen exercise. And my top tips for, for completing the exercise would be, you know, start by reading the material carefully, but bearing in mind the time pressure. Uh, do take your time to plan the structure of the report, um, but also make sure you actually leave enough time uh, to, to write to write your report and you don't sort of spend too much time on planning it rather than writing it. Have an eye on um, the commercial side of things. So thinking about, uh, you know, what a client would actually want to see in this report. Remember, it's a business report, it's not a university essay. Um, and think about who, who you're actually addressing the report to, the wider context, and uh, bring in as much of your commercial knowledge uh, as you can. And do make sure you reach a conclusion. Uh, you'll need to weigh up the pros and cons of various different options. They won't be black and white. It's intended to be a difficult exercise where there isn't a single right answer. Um, and it's important that you put forward what you think is the right answer with clear, logical, and well thought out reasons and recommendations. And finally, make sure you do follow the instructions. We include guidance on what uh, we want you to include in the report, and we suggest the structure that you might want to follow. So please do read this carefully, as we'll be marking you against um, this as part of sort of the assessment process. It's important that the report is presented clearly. Make sure you use paragraphs and numberings and bullet points, anything that's going to make it easy for the person reading it to follow your thoughts and logic. Use full sentences. Do you read it through, proofread it through for spelling and grammar. Um, and always keep in mind that, you know, you're writing this uh, in a business context. It's, it's not an essay. It's meant to be either for a client or a board member. Uh, and, and your tone and style should uh, really factor that in.